Okay guys, so I was sitting here talking to Stephanie and Sandy and had another idea for a video. And we were talking, I don't know what we were talking about that triggered it, but, um, oh, I was talking about coming back, at, flying back into Dallas. And uh, there's areas in Dallas that I don't want to be in. They're gecko heavy. And there's a lot of, there, there's a lot of um, human trafficking, child abuse, pedophilia that goes on to get power. So <laughs> I worried about it, so we ended up right smack dab in the middle of them, guys on our trip back from the northwest so i was talking about that and that led me to there is actually a video on youtube that is who what's his name what's the asshole's name podesta podesta that'll probably get this video tagged and it's okay i'm gonna keep this so i don't get sued supposedly allegedly it's podesta with a little kid torturing this, this little kid. So I was telling Sandy, I said, if you want to practice and you feel tough, go listen to that video and then multiply it times millions. Because that's what Stephanie and I hear, feel, know every day. And then that led to, well, then you also, and it doesn't come back. Once you, once you can hear a child screams in torture you don't get just one of them when you're coming out of amnesia you get all of them at once because it's the same vibration so you can't you, you don't just deal with one child screaming in pain and agony you get millions upon millions at once and then you also will get millions of women being hurt or men animals plants all of that comes back at once and then sandy <laughs> sandy brought up well that's why you get your amnesia comes back little by little. And that's what I've told you guys before. You think you want to be like me, but you don't. You've got to get there at your own pace. Because some people, you're not ready to hear or feel. No, because you don't just hear the children's cries. You feel their terror. You feel their confusion. You feel their wanting to escape. You don't just hear the cries. You do, you, you get it all. It's all of it when you come out of amnesia. So if you have not lost attachment, judgment, worry, fear, and if you don't truly understand that we're all creator gods, and those guys are creator gods too, and they know what they're doing, then it can be extremely overwhelming. Trust me, I know, because I had all of it before I understood completely. Even though I was, I came back from the other side, and even though I knew how this all worked, still to hear, feel, know all of that at once, whenever I came back, was was horrible. It was really horrible. So I got all of it, all the knowledge, all the knowing, all the feeling, all at once, and then I had to sort it out the opposite way of your doing. The opposite. I got it all back, and then I had to sort it out, and do the mantra, they're creator gods, they know what they're doing, and I'm still doing it, especially when it comes to children, because of my history as a child. So I get triggered to fear, actually I don't get triggered to fear anymore, I get triggered to anger, uh, intense anger, and I know I'm a creator god, so uh, yeah, it's really hard for me to not be triggered to want to go to a timeline where those guys get their comeuppance. And I have to talk myself out of it because that, those guys are creator gods. It's none of my business. It's not going to work anyway because they know what they're doing and it's none of my business. So the point here is that you don't just get the, the bright lights and rainbows and bubbles whenever you lose your amnesia. What you remember, what you get back, are, is all of your knowing. And that includes all of what you consider to be horrible on this planet. You're going to get that too. And that is a part of the contrast. That is a part of the game. That is what everyone that's here playing that designed on purpose. Now, of course, they will tell you, I would never have created this for myself. These horrible things. Loss of a child. Disease. <coughs> loss of a loved one, period. Um, losing everything and being homeless. But I assure you, uh, they did. Nothing happens to anyone or anything without its consent on any timeline ever. That is impossible. It cannot happen, 
ever. It may appear to be that way, but that's a part of the game. Big part of the game is for it appear that these things are happening to you. That it may appear that they're happening and you can't do anything about it. That's the whole point of you of entities coming down and 